What's up, YouTube? It's Artisan MC. And today, on the 80th anniversary of Batman, that's right, The Dark Knight is 80 years old today, I've been binge-watching some movies on uh, the DC Network, believe it or not. I said I wouldn't pay for it, but I didn't, so don't tell anybody. So, today I checked out a couple of movies that I have seen, and I checked out one that I hadn't. First one starting off for this Sunday bingeable is Batman Hush. Okay, I've read this story and I really enjoyed it. it was, I like seeing all the characters in there, which doesn't sound like much, but I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't read it. So, for me, I enjoy seeing the Bat Family. The Bat Family is one of the most interesting families to me in comics because the Bat Family are all there pretty much by choice. And these are some of the most capable detectives or fighters in that DC universe. This is why I like the Bat Family. They don't have powers. They're just regular people, but they're regular people who get it the fuck in. Any one of them. And I like seeing the tier system among them. Batman sitting at the top going all the way down to Damien, who is just a beast. Damien is just Damien is one of my favorite characters just because he's Damien. That's the whole reason. Just his attitude, his demeanor, the little little give something else. But in this movie, if you don't know, there's a new villain that pops up on the scene named Hush. And Hush is going after Batman. And he seems to know him pretty pretty well. Read the original Hush story, I will tell you. Watch this movie, but watch it with fresh eyes. Because some stuff changed. It's just the way it is, it's the nature of the beast. It changed. And I can't say it was necessarily a bad change, but because of the change they're made, you don't get the connection to a lot of things that were in there. Namely, the costume, namely how this person goes about it. It's hmm. It was an interesting change, but it's not one I would have made. Okay, but it makes sense for the movie. Um, one of the high points in this for me, which is one of my favorite scenes in this movie, is you get Damian Wayne scolding Bruce Wayne. And for a quick rundown, Bruce Wayne and Selena Kyle start dating or going out in this movie. Okay, you get the Batman Catwoman relationship in this movie. But while Bruce is going out on a date and Alfred and Nightwing are pushing him to do it, Damien calls. And Damien's not for it. Now, if you've seen any other DC you animated movies, you know they pretty much connect together. You know, year after year they harken back to the older older um shows and they reference it because it's being made by the same studio house so it's good so Damien proceeds to give his father the business with questioning and telling him what not to do like it's a father telling his son to be careful on the first date and one of the things he says that is pretty freaking funny he tells him his father about using protection and for God's sake to cover his drink now if you know anything about Batman and Damian Wayne and how Damian Wayne even came to be Batman was drugged by Talia Al Ghul that slipped a Mickey in his drink and had her way with him to produce Damian now to me that's funny as hell because the kid is warning him about Bruce Wayne the Batman's track record with women and he is the spawn of one of those things. Telling him, like, above all else, not limited to, don't trust his mother. Because his mother. You should know better. <laughs> but for me, that was the funniest scene. That was the funniest scene in that whole show. And I can say for the most part that that show was one of the most entertaining Warner, Bra Warner Brothers animated movies that I have seen. Because of the nuance in there, the emotional elements in there, the humorous moments in there, even watching a Batman movie, okay, it worked. It it totally worked. I was entertained, 
And the biggest thing you can see out of it is people coming into the shop, seeing what I'm watching, actually stopping and being enthralled in what's going on. And it wasn't fighting. It was just dialogue and story. Like a regular movie. So it was good. So after that, I decided to go back since that scene was throwing some stuff out there. And I went back and watched Batman, Son of Batman. Which is good. So in this one, you get the introduction of Damian Wayne to this animated universe. And Talia Al Ghul bringing him to his father. Now some stuff happened. You get Raish. You get the death of Raish. And the way they made this story was that Deathstroke was part of the League of Assassins. And basically did a coup. Put it that way. He did a coup. He wasn't cool with Damien. He was supposed to be the successor to Raish. And he wanted to kill Damien and Talia and Raish. And that's what Deathstroke did. So you get the situation where Talia has to bring Damien to his father. To give him to it. Now for me, that's that's funny as hell. Because that's something that you would never see in, in modern society. A woman giving up the kid to the father. But... It happens in the course of this animated fictional story. It does happen. And you get to see Batman trying to learn about this child that he has and who this child is and things that's wrong with him. Now, Damien coming into the Bat family or the Bat universe is one thing. When he starts meeting the other members of the Bat family, it's completely another and I can tell you this movie does not shy away from a little kid getting his ass kicked. So, you get in this a good fight between Nightwing and Damien. Now, you don't see it. You see the after effects of it, but you don't see it on the screen. Uh, later on, if you stick to the end of the movie and watch the credits, like most people don't do nowadays, you will see the fight. You will see how it turned out, which is cool. But they had a real fight. And in this movie, eventually Damien and Deathstroke, I'm not telling you how they get there, but they do get there, have a real fight. And it is not a fight with two kids. That's like some grown man fight. A kid gets messed up and has to struggle through. But that's when you get to see how tough of a character this kid is. And mind you, he's only 10 at this point. I think he's 10, maybe 8. He's not, a, he's not a teenager. He's, he's a kid. And he fights like a demon. It makes sense. He's trained by his grandfather. So that's really interesting. If you've never seen it, go back and watch Son of Batman. Okay. In the last 15 minutes, I just finished up Batman vs. Robin. Now, this is one I hadn't seen yet. Okay, along with Hush. These are two that I hadn't seen recently. And so I watched it. And that shit was awesome. That was really good. And it pulled on a lot of really heartfelt elements, in a sense. Because you get a father trying to learn about his son. Now, mind you, this takes place a couple months after Batman's, or Son of Batman. The story continues. And this is Damien, now Robin, going out and trying to do his own thing. And Bruce trying to figure out how to parent sense the kid is obviously going through a lot of stuff with being able to adjust to this world where he's feeling like pretty much a prisoner can't go out in public he's still stuck in a mansion that drive anybody crazy but the kid is very capable and he wants to be out there doing this stuff he wants to make his father proud and punish these evil people similar to what his father does but his father wants him to stay, hang back, and be in a mansion. And that's not working. And what you get is the dynamic between a father and a son. And a father accepting that this child is a little bit more of a handful than he's ready for. That he has to trust in some senses. That the toughest part for a parent, and I'm saying this as a parent, is to know when to take your hands off and let your children be themselves to find their own identity 
and that's hard. And Batman goes through that in this, which is a really interesting thing because if you play it out in the real world, it can be the same struggle that a parent goes through with their child wanting to be out in the streets and getting into gangs and stuff and the parents not wanting them to get into it. Basically, Robin goes through that same thing. But in this show, is done through the Court of Owls, which this show introduces which introduces Talon and the Court of Owls and how Talon tries to recruit Robin to become one of the Court of Owls. But it's all a scheme to get at Batman or bring Bruce Wayne into the group. And it plays on that accepting father versus the father that demands so much of you and will never approve of you. So it hits on those elements of acceptance and shame and being able to be yourself and being able to call your own shots. And Court of Owls is just a backdrop. It just gives you somebody to hope Batman kicks their ass, which in this Batman goes hard. Batman goes hard, Nightwing goes hard. And if you know anything about Batman, Obviously, he doesn't kill, but once you put an enemy in front of him that cannot be killed, oh shit, all the lethal stuff come out, and that's what you get in this, which is very interesting to me. So, that was the third one that I binged on, Batman vs. Robin, and it leaves on a kind of heartfelt note, in a sense that Robin leaves. This 10 year old boy has to go off on his own. Not like Ash going on his Pokemon journey or Naruto going on his journey to become the number one shinobi, but Robin leaves Batman to go off and discover himself and to find who he is for himself, which is every child's journey. Every child. And I really like that in that movie. That was. I didn't think that was going to happen. So, it was good. So right now, I'm going to finish up with uh, Under the Red Hood. I have seen this one before. And I'm just doing it for shits and giggles because it was fun. But that's my little brief synopsis of things to um, watch on uh, a Sunday bingeable. I've already watched them on binge this Saturday, but I cheated. It's Batman Day. What the hell else am I doing? So... Like, share, subscribe, comment. If you've seen any of these flicks, you know, throw your comment down below. We can chop it up and talk about it. And it may be beneficial for somebody who has not seen this. You get something more than just my opinion. But that's it for me. I'm about to get off of here, jump on BGS and catch him. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.